At the T-minus three-minute mark, tape recorders on board the spacecraft were turned on. These recorders record both voice and data. WOMM LP operating out of Burlington, Vermont, 105.9 The Radiator. Good evening, it's The Rocket Shop. I'm your host, and Proctor. And welcome once again, Bonnie Ward. How's it going? Oh, my goodness. It's so wonderful to be here. Thank you very much. Yeah, everything's fine. Just got back from Woodstock. I'm, like, hanging out, right? <laughs> it's a, bit, a major like, flex to start yeah, the, uh, I start the show I wish through off. my life. I wish through the last day. Space just could be driving my mower between my hemp rows. I love <laughs> it. I get all this kind of the high, I, you know, just from being around the terpenes and the CBD. And, you know, I, mean, I do 10 acres like a day. So I can imagine that would make you high just from sheer exhaustion. Well, I've been past that. That's, yeah, I, I've done sheer exhaustion, but that's only when I get wood. Well, after the wood's up, then... I can relax for a couple months, <laughs> five, so <laughs> five months. Well, yeah. Bonnie, um, we always like kicking off with a song here, so would you like to introduce your first track and take it away for us? Sure, I'm going to play tonight. Uh, oh, okay, I, 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 I write my music and I have my little recording studio at my dining room table, right, which faces my road, okay? And every five seconds, you know, there's a pickup truck going by, look, oh, wonder what she's doing now. <laughs> it's true. I've been watching it for like 20 years. So anyhow, so I decided to write a song about, um, it's called Secret Rendezvous. <laughs> it's a fun <laughs> song. Okay. I saw you riding by my house today Oh, your hair was blowing in the wind I thought that maybe you looked my way I thought I saw you grin Oh, but darling, if I had half a chance I jump this fence and ride with you. We'd fly down this dusty road, have a secret rendezvous. Right, baby, now. Oh, your hair was blowing in the wind. I thought I saw you grin Oh, but darling, if I had half a chance I'd jump this fence and ride with you We'd fly down the stars to heroes Well, it ain't no Fifth Avenue Swirling all around I was speeding Willie down by the barn Oh, but darling, if I had half a chance I'd jump this fence and ride with you We'd fly down this dusty road have a secret rendezvous right baby now I have to end it like that <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie Ward with secret rendezvous yeah <laughs> you know every song that I research I research diligently for song titles because I don't like to use somebody else's title you know mm -hmm. so you have to search and search and search and all these things are all like wow they're all coming down and all these beautiful ideas and creativity coming down over the all of us in, on, in the world here. And uh, yeah, so, so we connect. 
but yeah, Secret Rendezvous and and so Secret Rendezvous has been out there. It must have like a million <laughs> Secret Rendezvous. I was gonna say that I was gonna, Secret <laughs> Rendezvous sounds like uh, it's probably got a fair few songs attached to it. <laughs> 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 oh, and I didn't do that part. Well, next time. Oh, which part did you miss? Oh, uh, well, it's it's kind of like cute. It goes like this. Darling, if I had half a chance, I'd jump this fence and ride with you. But it's your in your own best self defense if you just go on riding through. Ride, baby, now. Or maybe we can go up to the pond and take all our clothes off and jump in. My, oh, my, it's such a beautiful day On a day like this, it can't be wrong Oh, but darling, if I had half a chance I'd jump this fence and ride with you We'd fly down this dusty road Well, it ain't no Fifth Avenue <laughs> That's a different way of saying it. <laughs> um, uh, so you were mentioning before that your kind of creative space is sat right in your window and uh, and watching the trucks go by. Why why is that area for you kind of like your sacred space to create? Because you, you live on a big farm, right? So you've got yeah. plenty of places to pick from. Yeah, and I'm the only woman around, which is really cool for me. <laughs> Mountain woman as I am. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I get inspired. Because right over the hill is Lincoln, mm -hmm. and then the Sunray Peace Village, right? And all those chantings and mantras coming through me. Mm -hmm. And then Fish is right next door, like they used to, like, in Moncton up there somewhere. Is that where the recording studio is, the shed? I don't know, but maybe. Yes, oh, maybe go. it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Who knows? I, I, I just felt like marching. Uh, what's that? Groucho Marx. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Groucho Marx. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, I was telling about the Parkland students. Yeah. Uh, I had such an affinity for every time a child is shot, I feel it. Like, mm. boom. It hurts. Because my child was shot. So, I know. That's why I do all this anyhow. I did this, this song. It's for, I wanted to do a few songs. I, I didn't hear anything coming out anywhere. You know, songs about. We too, or Parkland, or, you know, maybe there are. I think Joan Baez tried one. I can see clearly now, now that the light of day comes in. I sit here watching you, and I'm slipping away down into the moon. That's not really it. Ah, I feel like I should be, I, like every time we record, it's like live, 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 live. I'm, gonna, I'm so happy to be here with your audience. Thank you, Big Heavy World Rock and Star. That's pretty hot. I just call Quinn, right? <laughs> okay, I had to get real now. When I'm sitting at the dining room table, Michael and I have a fight. I look out at all those cars going by and I say, Oh, everybody else is having fun but me. It's 
not really true, but I never go out anyhow. Mm -hmm. It is to be riding with you up to our cabin in the woods. Yeah. The moon is rising while the sun falls down, and we're swerving left and right. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely night, lovely night, you and I. We'll take flight into the woods I'm down and laugh Come on, baby Life goes too fast from each one of my songs because if I go on and on and on I'll never stop <laughs> well let's uh let's let's bring it back to the uh to the interview real quick and Ooh, because there's a few things uh, I wanted to to discuss with you um and it felt like we were kind of starting to starting to get into uh concert territory here mm. so uh, by all means I want to keep keep you going right. just I a have second a lot of songs I can play <laughs> um, I just got spaced out there. We were okay. we were discussing it before we came on the show. Um, you just came back, went back to the Woodstock. Oh, now it was Woodstock's 50th anniversary, as I'm yes, sure, obviously yes, you yes. well know. Mm -hmm. So, um, I as I understand it, you went to the original, and then you went to the 50th anniversary just the other day. So, tell me about both of them. Oh well, well, let's see. Woodstock '69 was really great. I asked my mom. I begged her. I was in Daytona Beach. I was working for a boutique shop and. Mom, please, please, can I go? I have to go, I have to go. I heard the song, like, Are You Going to Sing? Well, that was Hate Asbury, excuse me. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, Woodstock. So, Woodstock 69, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I went with this boutique, but then I couldn't sell anything because I felt so guilty. I didn't want to give it all, everything away. So, they said, Get out, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. go, go run around, do something. And so I did. I ran into my twin sister, believe it or not, right in front of Jimi Hendrix Monday morning. She was from the hog farm, farm in California. I hadn't seen her for a year. We had not connected. I can't believe that happened. It was so cool. Was that was that in? Uh, I'm guessing that was in '69 rather than 2019. That you? No, this time it was just I have to go. I have to go out of reverence for the whole thing. And, and since uh, keep it up, you know. Right? Oh, we might have a big festival here in Vermont. Oh yeah, to to commemorate the 50th year. What's, what's your favorite memory of Woodstock 69? What's something that really stands out for you? Well, I had more embarrassing moments of Woodstock <laughs> than I did, you know. Yeah. But I was in the water and they were going, I was trying to get back to my boutique shop, right? Just been to Yasker's Bar now. And um, I was crossing the water and then they said, get out of the water, get out of the water. You know, there's megaphones. Get out of the water. And I turned to this guy behind me. I go, what do you think? You know, <laughs> what are we, you know? and he goes, hey, I, go. So I went. And I whisked off, was whisked off to New York City with, in a limousine. Uh, you, was that post? Got my hair done in Fidel Sassoon. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll. So uh, we were also mentioning before then, the, and you kind of just alluded to it, that you ended up in Hay Ash Ashbury in San oh, Francisco yeah, as well. Oh, yeah, I ended up there all right. So, that, so you kind of hit yeah. all, the, all the markers of n the 1960s, I you did, know, definitely. Woodstock, High Ashbury. How did you end up in High Ashbury as a... Well, I, like I said, I was going to Flor uh, school in Florida. Mm. My parents moved when I was a senior in high school to Fort Dayton Beach. And so, uh, yeah, so I just, you know, went to school, and I met this girl named Lucifer, and she was friends with Dwayne Allman, 
and then I'm boyfriend girlfriend, and they lived like her. His parents lived right down the road, mm. like in New Smyrna Beach. His mom. So we used to go over there and hang out with the almond, the almonds. And I thought, wow, they're really cool, you know. So yeah, so we did that, and then we got in a lot of trouble. <laughs> we never went to school. <laughs> well, how could you when your school's right across from the ocean? So anyhow, Seabreeze High School, I love you for what you t let me relax and do, and <laughs> thank you very much. And so, do you have any songs that commemorate that time of your life that you've written? Well, um, Mother Nation is good. I think you have it. I sent to you, right? That's a pretty good song, right? Yeah. I mean, those guys, everybody. We, I didn't even know what I was going to do. When I go in the studio, I call people, right? Mm -hmm. And they go, okay. And they do it. And, like, we just jam it. And we get it done in one or two sessions. We're... We do everything live. We do like at Lane Gibson Studio in Shalat, Vermont. I love you, Lane. He knows I love him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so anyhow, so I have a different styles, but I wanted to play a song that I wrote from on my down to earth C C D. Um so well, I think that maybe jumping out of like uh into uh down to earth is like when it's really when I'm just like, okay, I'm not going to do that one. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm every time. I'm going to do Mother Nation. I don't care. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I like this one. You have to understand, I never go out of my farmhouse. <laughs> never, ever, ever. I go to Shaw's. That's it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you, uh, you came here tonight. And Amazon. I hate Amazon. Hey. <laughs> I still spend a lot of money there. When you wake up in the morning and you feel alone, and the troubles of this world have brought you down, just close your eyes and use your imagination. Resolve to evolve and join our mother nation To where love is the answer, love is the key Unlock your heart, we'll be waiting to see you And when times get tough and you've just had enough Well don't worry about the small stuff Resolve to evolve and join our nation. We're waiting for you, it's a celebration. To where angels fly on butterflies' wings. Hop along and we'll go cosmic sailing. Oh no, you're not alone. When the troubles of this world have brought you down Just close your eyes and use your imagination We're waiting for you with Mother Nation To where love is the answer, love is the cure Open up your heart, we'll be waiting for sure I know you're not alone Come join our happy home 
a classic from Bonnie Ward there. Mother Nation is such a wonderful, it was such a giving thing for me because if I just might be a little bit um, serious for a moment that going through suicide is not a fun thing for anyone, any mother never should have to do that. So that's why I'm here making every attempt to do work for you and to do good music. So um, peace be with you and I'll do what I can. All right, I'm gonna play a song I wrote. This is for when I, the immigrants, right? Like, can you imagine? being torn away from your child. So I wrote this song called Rockabye. baby close your eyes mama's gonna hold you all through the night rock by baby don't you cry Shining over the stars twinkling bright while you lie in my arms tonight. So dream on, baby. Oh. Mama's gonna love you now. Say goodnight. Oh, rock goodbye. Baby, rock goodbye. Baby, rock goodbye. Oh, say goodnight. Oh, so rock goodbye. Rockabye. Yeah, I felt so bad. I know we women in this country feel bad. Well, I was going to say, you last time you came on, a lot of the, the songs you sung about was about environmental activism, a lot about fracking, which yeah, was, that was, really was good. something that was very close to good your thing. heart. It was a very good good cause at the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sun sunflowers are innate. Right. And, um, and so it sounds like now that... There's other um, other subjects you're now exploring, and you mentioned before you had the song for the Parkland, uh, the Parkland shooting, and the the children involved there, and and la last one you alluded to was um, connected to the the issues that are going on at the border at the moment, and right. and right. immigrant yeah. detention and family separation. Right, it really really hurts. What else have you been kind of exploring? What what kind of other subjects have 
been touching you recently that you have felt compelled to to put into song? Well, I I just I I don't want to get into politics, <laughs> but I'm playing a big concert down in Daytona Beach on the, at the uh, band shell next uh, 2020. Mm. Hopefully, I can sway a few minds. I you know, hey, that's the way it is. I'm sorry, we're white Republican women, okay? I mean, white 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 uh, middle class women that. <laughs> that vote. That's all I'm gonna say. That's the end of the conversation. That's the end of the conversation. So do you? Okay, I want to play "Oh Baby Oh" because it's my like Southern rock thing. Okay. Because I love the Almond Brothers, man. They were so cool. You good? Need some water? Uh, I have some. I think. Yeah, there it is. I'll get it. Don't. Um, hey. Uh, it's all right. I, I, I got it. I got it. Victoria, is that your name? Because I love that name. She can get it. She can get it. Thank you, Victoria. Sorry, everybody. I just, my mouth went completely hey, dry. You're, you've been cracked, the blue one. You're I think that all that, thing. yeah, that everybody in Vermont is so happy we can have dry mouth now. <laughs> Seriously. Legally I don't like paranoia. <laughs> no way. And to relieve us of all that paranoia was a really, really good thing. I really feel good about it. It's a release, you know. I'm just sad that all the states don't have it because it's, you know, everybody's going, oh, you, you lucky thing, you. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, yeah, well, you know, come up here. <laughs> I have to tell everybody to come up here or over here, wherever it is. Yeah, the Parkland students, did I? So you, we, 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 uh, we heard your song for the Parkland students, and it was very moving, as, as well as you, the, the song that you, you sang about immigrants. And, and I was mentioning, you know, you, you were very much into your environmental activism and living up on the farm. Uh, how, much, how much does the environment influence the songs that you're creating? Oh, I'm right there and down there. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I meditate. I'm so thankful to be right there. Yeah. For once in my life, and my, I mean, everybody leads up to what they really want to do and be and in the end. And my, my motto, I heard this by uh, Moody Blues or something, what you want to be, you will be in the end. It just stuck to me. And I said, you know what? That's a good idea. And I like that. I'll put it right back in my head. So I never stopped playing mu m music, even when I went to school and raised kids by a single mom. <laughs> single mom, we are struggling. <laughs> Was uh, was music a, a form of release, like a like a stress relief, yeah, a way because, to escape a little bit sometimes? Well, you have to figure. At sixteen, I went out and I got involved in all these big bands and like all this heavy music right in my ear and like running, 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 you know, for like five years. And so to settle down to like a, which I tried to, <laughs> a corporate marriage. <laughs> No, sorry, I'm out of here. Did you did you go straight from like you know the the high Ashburys and the New York Cities and the Soho straight up to Vermont, or did you meander elsewhere along the way? No, I went back to Pennsylvania and I decided to go back to school because I didn't want to be like a welfare mom in the bar. I mean, I could be a welfare mom because of, I had to, okay, but uh, not be in a bar, you know. So uh, so I decided, well, what's what's going to be good for you? Funny, you know. So I had big family and a lot of support. I didn't have to ask them for support. They were just there. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice. Today we don't have that support. I mean, some kids do. They have smaller families. I think I see that. Much smaller families. I mean, there was nine in my family. You wow. know, nine. And my brothers went to the war. My uh, the Korean War. My eldest brother or my Butchie or Dennis. Uh, they're all gone because of the war and suicide. And they didn't want to live anymore with their illnesses, so they, they left this world. But I, I have deep respect for the next world, so I, uh, I continue on with my... I hope people feel happy when I play. That's what I want to do. Everybody to feel happy. Well, I... I feel like a lot of the songs you create do have this really kind of positive imagery and it's always got a very nice light guitar to go with it and 
Words that make you think. It makes me think like, oh, I want to be on the road in festivals all my life. That's <laughs> I don't want to go back and do anything. You know? That's how I feel. <laughs> yeah, let's party, party. Well, I just like, I'm my birthday's coming up, so I'm in a party mode, <laughs> and I'm going to be partying for a while now because you can't just sit back and say with your guitar, and you're sitting at the dining room table, right? And all the, I know all these girls are, okay? They're all like, oh, well, I saw him walking, you know? And it's like, hey, lady, you got to get out and get some strength because it's a little bit more rock and roll than that. To do anything on stage just takes a lot of energy. So every time I go out and have to work, like, you know, throw wood and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, I say, hey, build me up, build me up. Well, you just, uh, that's a really good point. Um, what have you been doing in terms of playing live? Because you just mentioned getting up on stage. It uh, takes some real strength. What, what have you been doing recently? Have you mentioned getting to any, doing any gigs or, or getting out to any of the bars to, to perform? Yeah, I, I really am planning on going to, uh, to play uh, a concert mm -hmm. uh, before I leave for Florida in Jan uh, January. So I, I want to do it in Bristol. Like, all the kids are out there. There's young kids. You know, it's afternoon. I can do it. You know, whatever they want. You know, it's all donated. Donated to a good cause. So. Right, right. And you said you're going down to Daytona and you're going to be playing playing a gig there. Oh, yeah. I play <laughs> rock and roll bikers. <laughs> bikers. I'm going to play a song for the bikers. All right. That just reminds me. <laughs> you can't think about Daytona without bikers. Stay <laughs> Baby, oh, baby, oh, I said, oh, baby, oh, if you don't love me, I should go away. I always wanted someone like You were so strong, you made me feel secure. But lately, darling, I've had no peace of mind. You've been playing with my heart, and it just ain't right. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh. I sit here alone nearly every night Playing this old guitar under the crystal moonlight Well, darling, maybe it's time that we should part Even though it breaks our heart Oh, baby, oh Baby, oh, baby, oh, I said, oh, baby, oh, if you don't love me, I should go. For the bikers, there by Bunny Ward. <laughs> <laughs> the bikers like me. They let me into their places, really. I have to ask permission that they let me in. Always let me on stage. Yeah. Like, I played it like 200 times. I've gotten thrown off stage by other people on stage because the boys don't like me. No? no. So I did Country Girl. Right? I'm just a country girl living in this old country town. 
The men, they all turn their heads, they say I've been around But I can say that I've been a place or two But I keep coming back to these green mountain woods I go down to the general store about once a week Right next to the local bar where all the guys meet Well, you can say what you want I'm gonna kick up some hill, baby, have some fun Oh, guys, you got to give me a break. I just got back from Woodstock. Do you know what that's like? <laughs> I feel like a wet noodle, like, you know. Oh, a, what's that, Doughboy? Doughboy? Oh, God. I just, like, did so many pickles this week. I did so many pickles. <laughs> do you know how many cucumbers? I, I did, like, 30 pounds of peas. You know, we do that. We're very sustainable. That's why I'm here. I want to be clarifying here. This oh, my farmland. This, this, yeah. this is picking peas and yeah, picking cucumbers. Right. And, because uh, yeah, my garden. Your gardens. Year. Michael, like Michael, Robert, he's like master garden. Master, I'm not. I could er, um, plants would die with me. <laughs> they would. I would like pay so much attention to them that they would just be nothing, you know. But you've uh, you've got you've got quite the garden up there in, in the mountains where you live. You know, you've got the, the oh, yeah, have... grow and the the peas um, and the cucumbers and and the and the. The waterfall and the crypts and the beavers, lots of beaver and coyotes, coyotes. Well, Bonnie, it's been a pleasure as always to have you on. Uh, we've probably got about time for one more song. Oh, wow. Have you, have that you means got... it has to be really phenomenal. Yeah, <laughs> you've got you to you <laughs> knock this one out of the park. So mm, what mm. song you got left to, uh, mm. to, to play us out with? Okay, this is for the We Too movement. I, I just thought... Wasn't it just like you and I To fall for one another The dreams I held inside You were hoping to discover The stars in my eyes Oh, the world was your pillow You and I that night Forbidden love Oh, that's how it started Forbidden love Well, left me down and broken hearted Forbidden love Oh, that's what you came for Forbidden love Well, you smiled when I closed that door Oh, that's how it started Forbidden love oh, Left me down and broken hearted Forbidden love Time has come and gone, yet I still remember the night we made love. It was early in September, the stars in my eyes. Oh, the world was your pillow, you and I that night. For 
get in love Oh, that's how it started Forbidden love Well, left me down and broken hearted Forbidden love Oh, that's what you came for Forbidden love Smiled when I closed that door. <laughs> That's where I need a band. I need a band. All my <laughs> band members, please come to me. Reach out. I'm right here. You know that. <laughs> Barney Ward, always a pleasure to Thank have you, you on. Thank so you so much, Buck. I really appreciate being here at Big Heavy World. You know, this is my home in radio. Well, always welcome. Thank you. Next week, we've got Sabrina Kamales and About Time coming on the show. So make sure you stick around for that next week at Wednesday, 7 o'clock. This has been The Rocket Shop. I've been your host, Tom Proctor. Good night.